Have you ever wanted to drop JDAMs on targets by simply looking at them? I'll show you how to do just that by using this mode. In my previous JDAMs Weapons Masterclass video, I only went over pre-mode, which uses a SPI from your sensors such as the TGP, radar, steer points and such. This time, I wanted to quickly go over this mode, which lets you use your HUD and HMD to designate targets. By the way, if you're new here, first of all, welcome. I'm a flight sim and aviation enthusiast who just loves teaching and helping new DCS pilots. Be sure to check out the channel, like, subscribe and tell others about it if you enjoy my content. It really helps a small channel like mine. And if you're looking for more help getting started in DCS, be sure to join my Discord linked in the description. So let's jump right in. With my JDAMs powered on, aligned and in Viz mode, you can see that my HUD is soid indicated by this green star at the top left and the velocity vector is boxed. If the HUD isn't soid and you don't see the star, press data management switch up and the star will appear. The first use case of this mode is simply pointing your velocity vector at your target. I'll aim at the center of one of these circles. Once you're on the target, press TMS up and that will set a speed. Now simply follow the ASL and when in range release the bomb. Next method also uses the HUD, but you don't need to point down as much. If your target is inside the HUD, instead of pulling all the way down to it and with your HUD soid, you can simply move your radar cursor switch down to it, press target management switch up to speed, and if you want you can still make some corrections after you speed. Now as usual, just follow the ASL and when in range, drop the bomb. By the way, to cancel your last set speed, press target management switch down and that will bring the box back to the velocity vector. Now in this run, I'll again use the HUD, but with a little twist. As you saw from the last two drops, I aimed for the middle of these circles, yet both bombs did not land close enough to the center for my liking. So, I'll add another step this time to make my drops more accurate. I'll again use the radar cursor to put it on the center of one of these circles or close, as close as I can to the center. Target management switch up and now if I go into the TGP you'll see that it's looking right at where I set it. And if I zoom in you'll see that it's really not right on the center. So, I'll use the TGP and zoom in to put it exactly on the center target management switch right to set area track and now I'll fly in as usual and drop on in range okay very much in range I'll drop and as you saw this time it was right on the center and for the final method I'll just undesignate this last B and so far I've only showed you how to use the HUD for targeting, but as I said, you can also use the HMCS or helmet mounted queuing system. To do so, make sure your HUD is soid by pressing DMS up, turn on the helmet mounted queuing system, and now press and hold target management switch up longer than half a second and release, and the box has now shifted to our helmet. So all I really have to do is look at where I want to drop the bomb, press target management switch up to speed, make corrections with the targeting pod, target management switch right to go into area track, and you already know what's next, turn into the target, align with the ASL, and when in range, press and hold the weapon release. And that's a good hit right on point. And that is it for how to use the F-16's JDAMs Viz mode. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell. I'll see you next time. Land safely.